Hello everyone. So uh, today I would like to cover one question we frequently get at support. So let's say you have a random section of entities. It could be a set. So for this example, I will show you uh, it on a set. You have a selection of entities, either elements or nodes, which is not belonging to one single part, uh, for instance. And you want to know above all this selection of entities, what is the max value? Uh, you want to extract it either as a knot or uh, put it in a cell into a table view. Uh, here's how you can proceed. So first, you need to create a measure. From this measure, you can switch here to Elemental Control. Uh, make sure to uncheck the Auto Create because otherwise it will create you one measure for uh, per element, and we want one single measure with all the elements. So I will uncheck the Auto Create. I will take the elements by set and I will pick set number 5. Okay, and then I click on create. This creates me a new measure. Uh, then make sure to animate at least once your model so that the, the, the information are, are correctly stored into memory. And now go to the satellite icon, the review measures. Here you have your method. And what we will ask is to have a single curve instead of multiple curve. So it may take a bit of time depending on how many entities you have. We want to put it into a new window, so it will populate a hypergraph window. It is for the sake of getting the code of the, uh, of the measure, let's say. And we want, this is really important, to check the live link. This will allow us to get the code of the measures. If we don't do it, the curve will be plotted with the row uh, curve, uh, curve coordinates and not with the code of the measure. So now I can hit and send. Now I can just switch to uh, the hypergraph graph client, sorry, go to the define. And you see here that I have a code, which is a vector which return me here all the information. And now, if I want to do a node from it from Hyperview, I can just go back to Hyperview. I will create a node. Um, uh, it could be anywhere, by the way. Um, so let me even create a node from the graphic uh, from the browser because in that case it won't ask me for uh, a locator. And in the text, what you can do, um, not are working with complex code. Uh, a code from Altair, so you need to bring it into curly brace. You can put this code, so if you can put all this code, what you will get is a vector with all the points. So let me hit on OK so that you see it. I Here I have all the points of uh, my set, and if I want um, only the maximum, now what I can do again is to go to my text and say instance max of max of set five um for me this max of set five is and here instead of p1 here we will say that we want we will use the complex max operator on this vector and here you can say okay and here you have your not with uh, the value for your maximum and the value. Um, you can even split your window uh, or your page into three clients, for instance, and you could ask for a table view client on the, on the third column. And so here we did it for the max. We can do the same for minimum, for average, or for a lot of um, mathematical function. So here I could say von Mises max set five. And in the same way, I can just paste it and insert it into, sorry, why? Close parenthesis, curly brace, and here we have to say open curly brace, maximum open parenthesis. And here we have the same information than on the hyperview client. 
So as soon as you have the code and the code, the best way to get it is to uh, create a curve with live link in Hypergraph. As soon as you have the code of the measure, you can use it in notes either in Hyperview, Table View, or even Hypergraph. Thanks for reviewing.